Besides Zometa, which is also called Zolandronic Acid, what else can patients do to strengthen their bones? Oh, I love this question, Mindy, because when we think of how myeloma affects the body, we know that one of the areas that can be affected are the bones, they can be thinned. So one of the reasons why when we treat the myeloma, we also give people a drug called Zometa, or there is another, a drug called uh, Donosumab or Exgeva, which helps strengthen the bones. So the first step is to be able to take one of those two therapies. But in addition, we know that other things contribute to good bone health in general, and this includes exercise, calcium supplementation through the orders of your physician, and it may indeed include some dietary factors, including a calcium intake. Because I have learned when patients also take ownership of their disease, not just by the treatment that they're given, but through their own lifestyle, they feel like greater partners in conquering their disease and it can contribute to their wellness. If you have more questions for me, tuck them into the comment section below. But remember, there are other ways to ask questions as well. You can attend a virtual webinar or attend an in-person seminar where you can ask us directly. Make sure you go to myeloma.org to learn about all these resources and more so that we can help you through your journey with multiple myeloma.